Good evening, Earthender fans, and welcome back to the Earthender Chef. We are here for episode five. Um, I'm really quite excited about this episode because it's actually a special request episode. So one of our Earthender fans, uh, Zoe Dyson, has actually put in a request for a chicken or a fish dish. So I'm really glad that I've been able to piece this together for you this evening. Um, we are going to do a bit of a Mediterranean style side dish with what we're prepping for tonight. So tonight's dish that we're going to work on is actually an crispy skin Atlantic salmon and we're going to pair that with a Mediterranean couscous and we're also going to make ourselves some beautiful oven baked roasted balsamic cherry tomatoes to go on the side. So a real warm fluffy couscous with some really strong balsamic flavours and to top it off with that beautiful crispy skin salmon. So I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. I hope you're a fan of salmon Zoe um, and I hope that your family loves this dish and um, let's get started with it guys because um, we've got a couple of things we're going to pair together here. We've got a bit of chop prep that we need to do so that's a bit exciting. Um, now, I just want to say, I do apologise if I sound a bit croaky. Um, I've actually had tonsillitis for the last week, so I'm essentially doing the Earth and Chef from my own home, uh, on antibiotics and getting better, almost there. Um, but, you know, I'm contained in the comfort of my own home, which means I'm not going to get anybody else sick. Um, but, I do apologise if I'm a little bit croaky. Um, feel free to ask any questions about the episode on the Facebook page. Um, and just again, guys, we hit 350 followers literally five minutes ago. So I'm super thrilled with all the support that we've had so far. I just can't famine enough that a little idea that was formed during a work discussion and, and a work uh, live cook I actually did for some colleagues of mine on a Friday afternoon um, actually has turned into such a great little mini project for myself. So I'm, I'm, I thank you um, for all the support so far and, and feel free to send the page out to your friends and get more followers because I'd love to share these recipes with more people and get the knowledge out there. All right, first things first, as we always know that I'm going to be having a beverage this evening while I cook alongside with you guys. Um, so tonight's choice, we have a Bolter XPA. Now, we have the Bolter XPA, which was canned here in Corumban, uh, in Queensland. So another great Brisbane craft beer that we have available. Um, and I've had this one before. It's one of my favourites. It's very tropical, very fruity flavours, which I think is going to go really nicely with the Mediterranean theme that we have going tonight. So I'm going to pour this for us here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Smell it. That's a terrible pour on my behalf. <laughs> we'll, we'll fill that up a bit in a minute. But let's get started on the prepping for the couscous. So what we're going to do is we've got quite a large pot here and we're going to make ourselves a vegetable stock base. Now, I have bought vegetable stock this evening. I do have a vegetable stock recipe that I can make, which is a breakdown of a lot of leftover vegetables. I tend to do it quite often. Um, there is also a thermomix vegetable stock that people use quite frequently. Um, and it's my, my recipe is very similar. Um, but yeah, I don't mind using, again, products that you can find in your grocery aisle. So I have bought ourselves some real vegetable stock here from the container and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my measuring jug and essentially we're going to measure out two cups now I want one and a third cups of vegetable stock Oop. bit of splash back there second cup of dry white wine. 
a little bit over because why not? Put that in the fridge. Some sea salt for seasoning. Good splash of sea salt. Now keep in mind there is a lot of sodium in the stock as well. And we're just going to pour that into our pot. And put that on high. Now we've got to let this come to the boil. So we're going to have to start off by that coming to the boil. Next thing we're going to get started on, ladies and gentlemen, are the cherry tomatoes. So we're going to preheat our oven to 200 degrees. And I've got a baking tray ready with some baking paper on it. I've prepped here. Oh, look, my beard's gone down. I can finish pouring that and have the first sip. Exciting times. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Delicious. Beautiful, beautiful beer. All right, uh, cherry tomatoes, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. I got taken away. I got taken away to a different place. So, I've just got some cherry tomatoes here. And I'm just going to get a small bowl. A small bowl and put a handful of them in there. I'm going to say about eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be serving two pieces of salmon tonight. So, four cherry tomatoes each on the plate. Oh, do you know what? We're going to go two more. We're going to make it five. Five on a plate. I'm thinking of plating up already. I'm, I'm too far ahead, ladies and gentlemen. So, we've got these cherry tomatoes in here. Balsamic vinegar, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to give a nice coating with the balsamic vinegar. ready. I think I did that last week as well. A little bit unorganised. So a good splash of the balsamic vinegar here. We're also going to put in some olive oil. Good splash of extra virgin olive oil. Our good old friend the sea salt. Flakes. We're going to give them a nice coating of that. And we're just going to toss them around in the balsamic vinegar. Get that nice coating going. And we're just going to pop them on the plate. Or, sorry, on the tray. Sort of in the middle. All together. And just pour a little bit of that over the top, so... It's sort of sitting in the balsamic vinaigrette mix. Beautiful. Clean chef over here with his uh, soap at hand. All right, we're just gonna pop these in the oven ready to go. Beautiful. Now I'll just check the temperature of this hot plate. It seems to be getting nice and hot. Beautiful. Next thing we're going to prep is the Mediterranean mix that we're going to stir into our couscous once the couscous is formed. So we're actually going to cook it separately and add it once it's formed, the couscous is ready to go. And the reason that is because we don't want it to get all mushy in the liquid, obviously. We want to take the liquid out of it, let it soak into the couscous, make it nice and fluffy, and then we're going to add our mixture to it. Um, so I'm going to start off with some olives as well. So I've got some Kalamata olives here. I've got myself a big bowl that I'm going to use to prep. And we're just going to chop these up ever so finely. I had a ball in Coles today. I went to Coles today. Um, absolute manic session in the shops. Um, had many things. Uh, as, as I said in the last episode, it's my little, little girl's uh, fourth birthday this weekend. So I was prepping all the ingredients for uh, her cake, which I'm going to make on Friday. I'm a bit excited about that. I'm going to make a uh, 
two tier six layer rainbow cake um, with a big coral reef theme on top so I'm hoping it, it goes as well as what pictured in my head um, it's been a while since I've made any cakes <laughs> so fingers crossed um, but if it's anything like the earth episodes touch wood uh, I haven't uh, had any issues with any of the meals that I've come across or made for you so far um, and I haven't had to edit any footage because uh, as I said, my, uh, my theme is uh, raw and unedited, um, so I'm trying to keep it as, uh, as real as possible. Um, so, you know, I, uh, my favourite part of uh, doing these episodes for you is eating the food afterwards because it tastes so good. Not to be uh, a little bit big-headed of myself, but I do enjoy cooking and it's one of my favourite things to do. I like to do it for friends and family and... And you guys, uh, the Earthender fans, and um, you know, I just, I really enjoy it. It's something I really enjoy to do. So yeah, just uh, finally slicing up some olives here. So we've got some Kalamata olives here, beautiful produce. Um, just slicing them up. Again, olives are quite salty, so keep that in mind. Hmm. Um, and again, for people who don't like olives, um. Couscous is another another sort of side dish that you can really put anything in. Um, it's essentially durum wheat, so it's a really nice fluffy sort of side dish that you can it can just and it's actually quite sophisticated. I like to think that couscous is quite sophisticated. So yeah, um, it's it's quite delicious. So I'm just uh, doing quite a bit of olives here because. Olives are one of my favourites. And we're going to fry these up in the pan um, with a couple of different other items that we've got on tonight, Mediterranean style. So that's enough olives there. Green bell pepper, ladies and gentlemen, or green capsicum. We're just going to cut the top off there and slice down either side of the core. Alright, taking that off straight away. One seed, got one seed out, that's brilliant. All right, so we're just going to push down on that, slice it into strips. All right, and then going from the other side, finally dicing into little diced cubes. So the idea of this couscous is to also keep all the ingredients that are going into it quite small. Um, we don't want big chunky stuff in it. Um, essentially it's, it's going to be quite, the, the consistency of couscous is quite small. So we just want to kind of mix it all together and fill it with a lot of flavour as well. I've got this capsicum going in here as well. Absolutely beautiful capsicum. I'm going to do one more size of that, so I'm just going to slide down that side again and slide down that side of the core. Beautiful. Put that to the side. Flatten out. Cutting into strips and then cutting into cubes. So I'm thinking for the next episode, episode 6, we're going to do a chicken dish. Um, if the request was a chicken and fish dish, I thought I'm going to throw in both here, because why not? Alright, next thing we've got ladies and gentlemen, uh, red onion, also known as Spanish onion. We are going to um, take some of this and put this into our Mediterranean as well. So, for all you people out there that are... Uh, have an issue with uh, cutting onions and 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 um, you know crying about it. <laughs> um, here's a couple of tips. So a couple of things, and, and you guys might not already know this. Um, hot knife, hot knife also assists with cutting onion. Um, it's one of the 
are weird uh, things that it just works. Same with another one of my little secrets that I learned when I was an apprentice um, is frozen ice blocks. So if you're cutting onions and you start to cry, suck on a frozen ice block because there is a chemical in the frozen water that stops you crying. And I didn't think it was a thing when I first heard about it and I've tried it and it is one of the secrets I've used ever since I've ever been in the kitchen is just frozen ice block. It's amazing. Works for me every time. All right, I'm gonna cut this red onion in half. Beautiful. We're gonna put that capsicum and stuff back over here. All right, and we're just gonna take the end off here and take the top off there. All right. Peel our skin off. I love red onion. It's one of my favorites. The all-time classic guacamole with your avocado and your Spanish onion and your basil. Mm -mm. So we're just going to slice through the onion here. Similar to what we did with the capsicum, we're going to cube it. I'm going to say that we probably don't need this whole onion, but we'll see how we go. tip is to just wash your hands after you cut onion as well. Alright, so we've got our uh, capsicum, red onion and olive mix here. Our stock is coming to a boil, which is beautiful. Alright, we've got our cherry tomatoes in the oven, which are starting to come along nicely. Alright, we're going to put this little pan on high. And we're just going to pop this in here. splash of olive oil in with our uh, Mediterranean mix here. Now, another thing that I want to add to the uh, stock for the couscous is uh, some saffron. Now, for anybody who isn't aware of what saffron is, it is one of the most expensive spices in the world. Um, this is 0.5 grams and you probably can't see in the camera here. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit closer. This is master food saffron. Uh, so it is a uh, 0.5 of a gram and this cost me almost $8 just for this tiny little bit. So it is quite expensive to buy. Um, it's amazing spice. All right. It is just absolutely divine. Beautiful, beautiful flavor can make any sort of Mediterranean dish just that next level. But there is also a saffron powder imitation version. So this is normally about $1.50 a pack. You can find it in any of your supermarkets. Um, I bought this one from Coles. Um, and it's, it's a very good substitute if you just want something to do the exact same thing, um, but not at the, the price. All right, so I'm gonna throw an ever so pinch of this saffron into my stock water that I have here. I'm just going to sprinkle it in, all right? So we're putting that into the water. Also release some of those flavors into the water before we add our couscous, which is going to be very soon. So we've got our saffron in there. Just 
turn that up to get that started. All right, so another thing that we're going to be adding to this Mediterranean couscous towards the end is some beautiful Australian feta that I picked up today. So I've got some beautiful Australian feta in the fridge. We've also got our two pieces of Atlantic salmon that I picked up from the fish markets today. Um, so that is very exciting. They are beautiful long pieces and we're going to be dab cleaning them and uh, cooking them skin side down. Um, and I find one of the things that I learned over a bit of time is that a lot of people think that when they're putting oil onto a, a skin fillet of fish that, you know, they, they put salt on it. I find that a lot of the times when you add salt to it straight away, it can withdraw a lot of the moisture and then when you cook it, it goes soft. You don't get that crispiness that you want. You just want plain oil, hot pan, and you need to make it really hot. Um, I find that I've been able to have really good crispy skin with a non-stick pan, so we're going to be using a non-stick. But I've also heard that stainless steel is one of the best pans that you can use to cook salmon in. So give it a shot. All right, so we've got this uh, beautiful stock coming along. Now, to the ratio for couscous. So we did two cups, one and a third cup of vegetable stock and the rest as white wine. So we've put that in there. We've got some saffron in there, some sea salt flakes. Um, and we're going to do one and a third cup of couscous to that. So two cups liquid to one and a third cup of couscous. So I'm going to get my cups ready. A half. We've got a quarter. <laughs> we're getting there. We have a third. Beautiful. And we have one. So I'm going to uh, measure this out. Now couscous essentially doesn't really take that long, um, anywhere to five to eight minutes really. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to let it boil a little bit longer and I'm going to get this ready because what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on and let it steam. And what, what will happen is that it's going to come out nice and flat in the pan, not a lot of liquid left, um, and we're going to just then whoosh it up to make it nice and fluffy, put it into our bowl and mix in our Mediterranean mix as well. So there we've got, I reckon we can put a little bit more in there. Top it up and there we go. A cup and a third of couscous, ready to go into our pot very shortly. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the piece to the resistance here we have our beautiful pieces of salmon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to bring these up to the camera. Still in the process of getting some more cameras for you, but look at those beautiful pieces of salmon there. Beautiful skin. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Salmon's one of my most favourites. I absolutely love salmon, especially for breakfast as well. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to get my wooden spoon out and give this a bit of a stir because this is nicely coming along now. Now that that's heated up, I'm going to turn this on a little bit more. and dry so it crisps up beautifully. We give it a good dab, not the dab, <laughs> paper towel dab. Yeah, I'm a cool dad. I know about all the young stuff. I feel so old now. Salmon here. Oh, absolutely. 
absolutely beautiful. Let's get this out of the stir again. Smell that capsicum coming along. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Check out our tomatoes. Ooh, we're going to turn them down a little bit because they're coming along nicely. That oven heated up well and truly quicker than I thought it would. Ooh, that steam as well. Ooh. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our couscous to the pot. All right. And we're just going to stir it in as well because we just want to make sure it's all covered by that liquid. Beautiful, and we're just going to slap the lid on right there. Alright, we want it to draw that moisture out in the pot. beer is going down way too nicely. Alright, just a splash of oil on top of the tuna skin and ever so gently just rub that in. We want to get that nice coverage all the way across. Beautiful. Even, uh, I have a habit of going to Kmart, so um, anybody that personally knows me knows I have a Kmart addiction. Um, it's, it's just one of those things um, where I can't not go to Kmart once a week. And so, one of the things that um, I uh, bought today was uh, a plate to serve this salmon on because, and I seem to buy like two plates. Like, because I was like, well, it's a really pretty plate. That's going to look good on tonight's dish. So, um, <laughs> I seem to be obtaining, like, these random, like, sets of two plates so that I could jazz up the, the dish tonight. Because, um, it's just, yeah. It's one thing that I like to do. Presentation is key. So, a lot of that moisture is already gone out of that couscous. It's just disappeared straight away. So you've got to keep an eye on it as well. We want to make sure that it's nice and fluffy as well. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit longer and then we're going to add some more vegetable stock to it. Only a splash because we want to keep the moisture going. We want it to get nice and fluffy but we don't want too much moisture in it. But we want to keep it nice and fluffy. So you're just going to add that little bit of time. This is coming along lovely. We've got this beautiful brownness coming on this Mediterranean mix here. So again we've got our Spanish onion, our capsicum, and we've got our olives. Alright, we've got our salmon ready. We've got our beautiful tomatoes that are just falling apart, which is just going to look delicious on the side. So eventually we're going to take this out, we're going to swap this over and put this pan on to get ready for the salmon. So. Beautiful, beautiful guys, we're getting to one of my favourite words when it comes to cooking, beautiful. Alright, so, um, sorry, mental blank there, <laughs> um, I was just going to say guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed, if you did watch the uh, Swift Snacks episode that I posted last week. Um, I'm going to start doing this little mini-series, so I've got another episode planned for this week. I'm really excited to just do quick 30-minute um, meals that you can prep at home. Um, just quick and easy, healthy alternatives. I always throw in the ability to change it up a bit if you're on a bit of a health kick. Um, and yeah, it's just another little bit of the, the project that we're going to go along. I'm looking into so many different ideas to just branch this out. Um, I'm having so much fun with it you wouldn't believe so it's just uh, it's a really fun project for me um so yeah 
Also guys, if you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to see, if you have a, a favorite protein um, besides shellfish, because again, I'm highly allergic, I do apologize. Um, shellfish was one of my favorite proteins I used to eat before I became allergic. And unfortunately, anyone at any point can come allergic to anything at any time in their life. So it's really quite sad that I don't get to uh, enjoy oysters and prawns and, and scallops anymore. Um, which is quite a shame because I enjoyed it so much. It was one of my favorites. Uh, and yeah, that's life unfortunately. But if you have any favorites of anything else that you'd like to see, please click me a message and I'll happily uh, go through my little memory bank here of some recipes that I have and share some amazing meals and knowledge with you guys, all right? So, yeah, the more contact, the more feedback I have. Um, it was quite funny, actually. I posted a recipe sheet on the weekend about the uh, tuna hash tanks. Um, totally forgot to put the amount of uh, tuna in there. That's because I was just too busy looking at the mouth-watering picture that I put on there. <laughs> it, it threw me. Um, but yeah, you know, just that, that sort of thing, um, and, and a, a, a lovely lady commented on there and said, oh, just wondering how much tuna to add. And I was like, of course, what a valid thing to put on the recipe sheet. So, um, I'm so glad that she messaged forward and asked the question. I edited the sheet, put up a new one, um, with the right amount. So, you know, but again, you can alter my recipes for larger quantities, you know, that sort of stuff. Just double the, the batch. The more the people, the more the merrier. Um, it, it's just really easy. That's how easy it is to cook in your own home. It's just, it's fantastic. So we're just gonna add some more vegetable stock to this uh, just, just here, and, and I'm probably just like a splash, right? We wanna give it a splash and give it a mix. Now I've actually turned the heat off on this uh, couscous here, because I just want it to sit in the pan ever so, I don't want it to burn. I just want it to sit in here and stir it around. And we're just gonna put the lid on that again. And we're gonna take our Mediterranean mix here, put that in our bowl. It's nice, it's got a bit of char on it. A little bit of char, which is going to go into the flavor of the couscous as well. And we're gonna put this to the back. Next thing we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, is get our pan ready for our salmon, the best part of the night. All right, so again, remember we've got that oil on here, so we don't need to add any oil to the pan, but we want the pan to be really quite hot, all right, because we're gonna get that real crispiness from it. Oh, excited about those tomatoes. Really excited about those tomatoes. So we've got our salmon there ready to go in the pan. We've got our couscous nice and fluffy. We've got the Earth and the Chef's beer nice and cold. it. Alright, and as I said, Australian feta. So I picked up this Australian feta from the Coles Deli today. Now, you know, most amazing produce, crumbly, salty, just full of flavour. Absolutely delicious. And what we're going to do is we are just going to crumble this straight into this Mediterranean mix. You can break it up with your fingers, get it in there, crumble it up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Feta cheese, one of my favorite things. Beautiful Greek style salads. Get some real spinach in there with some Greek feta, some Kalamata olives, cherry tomatoes, Spanish onion, just like perfect perfect for a, a barbecue or just a, a lunch even just if you're at home and you, you want to whip up something nice and quick Greek salad beautiful 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 and like it's not traditional but add some grilled chicken in there as well 
I love making salad, one of my favorite ones, and maybe I'll, I'll share for a uh, Swift, uh, Swift Snacks um, is my uh, potato salad recipe. Now everyone has a potato salad recipe, I'm not going to say mine's the greatest, because everyone has a way to uh, make their potato salad, and you know, you, you everyone says it's the best, but it is such a traditional, amazing salad, and everybody has their take on it. You, you can't, you know, you can't fault potato salad, um, or unless you put sultanas in it, which is a story from another time. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, it's just it's potato salad's delicious. I love salads in general, they're quick and simple and can really hit the spot. I just wanted to try some of the better. Thought I'd be a gentleman and try it with a spoon. Beautiful, creamy, salty, just absolutely delicious. We're just going to mix that all up and put this to the back again. Check on our couscous, give it a bit of a stir again. We don't want it to get sticky, we want it to be nice and fluffy. We've got that saffron in there, which is just delicious. And our pan is getting nice and hot. So I'm just going to test because I really want it to be quite hot. So just a little splash of water there. All right, little splash of water there. And we're gonna get this ready. We're gonna put it straight skin down onto the hot plate, all right? Now we don't need to cook the other side because salmon can be eaten raw and I find it's the best way to eat it. Um, you can oven bake salmon as well. You can also get skin crispy in the oven by putting it straight under your grill. Um, that's another method that you can use, but I've only ever found that pan seared the salmon is the best way to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, if we're ready, we're going to take this. Ooh. Ooh. I feel a bone in here. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Alright, skin down. Oh, shit. Almost lost it then. Straight on the pan. Nice and hot. Beautiful. Another thing that I'm going to add to this um, Mediterranean mix is some um, English spinach and I bought this most amazing bunch of English spinach from a place called Fresh Sensations in Chermside today and look at the leaves on this. This is mental. Like absolutely mental. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Massive spinach leaves. Like this is insane. And I'm not going to need many of them because they're so big, alright, they're just absolutely beautiful. And I'm just literally going to pop from straight into the mix. So when I add the couscous, it's going to bring it all together into that sort of beautiful Mediterranean I think I'm even going to serve with maybe some fresh cherry tomatoes as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these cherry tomatoes. Oh, drop one on the floor. Floor cherries. I'm going to slice these in half. Just uh, three of them. Beautiful. Put this back towards the back here. Now the good thing with the couscous is it sucked up all the moisture straight from the pot and put it straight into that bowl. Which is easy peasy. Now look at these beautiful 
plates that I picked up today. Beautiful pink shade, a little bit of white. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. You can hear this sizzling away. I don't want to take it off because it sucked that heat right in. So it's kind of suctioned onto it. I don't want to take it off, otherwise it's going to lose the heat. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the couscous ready. I'm just going to check these tomatoes. They are just golden and caramelized and absolutely beautiful. So this couscous, absolutely beautiful, nice and fluffy. That's got that saffron in there, remember? So we've got this beautiful couscous. I'm just going to bring it over to the camera here so you can see. Nice and fluffy. Focus, 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 focus. There we go. <laughs> nice and fluffy couscous. Mm. I can really taste the vegetable stock, that white wine, and that saffron. It's just come together in the in the couscous, just full of flavour. So I'm going to add our couscous to the bowl. Right, see the steam coming up of that. So again, that. English spinach is going to wilter under all of this couscous that I've added into this bowl. Alright. I'm just going to let that sit on top for a minute because I really want to form that steam base over the top. As I said, to wilter, bring everything together, and then we're going to give it a bit of a stir. Now I'm just going to get a pair of tongs. Oh, you can see that beautiful crispiness coming. Again, I don't want to take it off of this side. I want to cook all the way through on that side and I want to keep the other side nice and raw. Alright, so this is coming along nicely. We've got our nice little cherry tomatoes, the raw ones that we're going to serve up with it as well. Now I'm just going to bring out the roast tomatoes. You can see here, these have like fallen apart. They've got this beautiful golden glaze on them. I'll bring it up to the camera, you can see there, they are just absolutely divine. Really quick and easy, beautiful side dish that we've got here, right? Absolutely beautiful. Then come back to our couscous. We're just going to give this a toss all the way through. So I want to combine all of those ingredients that I had. The olives, the feta, the Spanish onion, the saffron. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to make this very Mediterranean, beautiful couscous. The English spinach has started wiltering, so that's really good. Oops, flicked a little bit there. And this is just... An amazing side dish, just like something that's so quick and easy that you can make. Something that is just so simple. And it's just, it just really adds that extra flair to your dish, I believe. It, it's full of flavour, it's light and fluffy. It's a great, com like, it just com it's a great accompaniment to, to a fish dish. Something so delicious. So we're just going to add some salt to our salmon now. All right. Beautiful good pinch of the uh, sea salt flakes there. And we're just going to add a little bit more oil. Just a drizzle on either side. All right. Yeah. 
beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm really quite excited for my uh, little one's birthday on Saturday. Um, gonna make the cake as I said before. We are going out to dinner. We're going to have the cake at dinner. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, and lots of presents, lots of uh, lots of fun times with family, which is uh, really good. So I'm quite excited about that. I just love spending time with my daughter. It is one of my favourite things to do. Um, we do lots of different things together. We puzzles, drawing. We like you know any parent, and and I find one of the things is like you know every parent does it. But you get those parents out there as like, you know, TV time, et cetera, et cetera. But me and my daughter love nothing better but to chill back on the couch on a Sunday and watch a movie together. We eat some popcorn and have some sneaky snacks. And, um, you know, I absolutely love it a bit. So it's one of my favourite, favourite things as, as a parent. I just love being a parent, I guess. Um, it keeps me busy. Surprisingly not mentally draining as I thought it would be. It can be, sometimes I feel really tired and run down, but I just keep myself busy and, and, and enough and balanced. You've got to balance your life and and having a, a, a beautiful meal um, on that balanced diet can also help that. And just keep the energy levels up. Just, just... sorry, I'm rambling again. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, I talk a lot. But, uh, you know, I've got to keep you guys entertained. Alright, that's coming along absolutely beautifully now. Alright, so I think we're going to get ready to paint, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this episode seems to be uh, pretty on point, I reckon. Pretty on point. Alright. Sorry, I have a bit of an itchy nose. I am, uh, just, uh, again... Bit of a bit of a sick time for me, but uh, I'm getting better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out some of the English spinach that I uh, added to the dish here. It's nice and wilted. I just want it as a base for our couscous, you know. Get that beautiful. Look at those leaves. Like it's amazing how big these are, right? These are just. Oh. Save some of them for my lunch tomorrow. Alright. Gonna get a ladle. And I just ever so want to take a ladle of this couscous, right? Make sure you get lots of that olive and a lot of that better in there. Alright. Give us a flatten in the ladle. Look at that. Now. Lost my paper towel. What did I do with it? That is on. Oh. <laughs> Didn't put it in the usual spot then. Wanted to, uh, Take some of the couscous away that broke off there. Presentation is key. Alright. I'll take some of our uh, roasted balsamic tomatoes that we have here. Oh, look at that. I'm just going to pop them on the side. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna pop some of the nice fresh cherries in here, cherry tomatoes in here as well. Beautiful. Hey, get your nose again. Excuse me, friend. <laughs> I just have to get it. It was it was bothering me so much. All right, I'm washing and soaking my hands as we speak. All 
All right, and uh, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the piece de resistance, we have our salmon. We're just going to uh, have a look at the skin here. Oh, that beautiful skin. I'm just so excited. So I'm just going to take this and we're going to just put it straight onto the board in a minute. I just want to get some paper towel to drain off that oil on the top of the skin. So again, having some good amount of paper towel here. I'm going to pop this down on the board and I'm just going to take this piece right here and pop it straight down, give it a bit of a, just take some of that oil off. And there we have that beautiful crispy skin ladies and gentlemen, absolutely divine. I'm just going to pop that over the top there. Oh, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've got our crispy skin Atlantic salmon. With our Mediterranean couscous that we did with our green bell pepper or capsicum. Our Kalamata olives. Our Australian feta. We've got our beautiful roasted tomatoes in there, our Spanish onion in our couscous, I knew I forgot something, I'm just trying to relay the ingredients in my head, Spanish onion, green capsicum, beautiful Kalamata olives, Australian feta with this beautiful couscous that's had saffron, white wine and vegetable stock, we've got our beautiful roasted tomatoes, some fresh tomatoes there and absolutely presented beautifully. Again ladies and gentlemen, the recipe sheet will be put up on the weekend. Um, I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to share this one with you. Again, thank you Zoe Dyson for putting in the request. I do hope you enjoy salmon. Um, it is one of my all time favorites. And just this dish, it's really clear cut. It's really simple, crispy skin salmon. The couscous is really easy to make. It's just one of those dishes that just everything goes together so nicely and it looks amazing on the dish. So I really can't wait to share the recipe sheet with you. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions or any feedback about tonight's episode, when it uploads, please feel free to send me some messages. I love talking to the fans. And just, just um, you know, put in any requests. I keep saying, like, I'm going through the ideas in my head, trying to form what I'm going to do for the next episode for you guys. Um, but if you guys think of something that you would really like to see, please let me know and I'm happy to put my spin on it. Um, I'm happy to also learn from this. Like if there's something that you guys want to see, I'm happy to try and recreate it in my own little special earth and the chef way um, to, to just, uh, you know, help with some cool, really cool ideas. So um, feel free to um, reach out and just um, ask questions, share. Let's, let's get this community going where we can just share re recipes and ideas and, and, and talk food because it's one of my passions and I want it to be one of your passions too. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, um, I must uh, bid you adieu uh, and absolutely just devour this amazing salmon. Um, and I'll, I'll quickly, before I do end this, I will bring it up to the camera so you can see, ladies and gentlemen. So look at that, that crispy skin. We have the couscous and our beautiful roasted tomatoes there served on our bed of wilted English spinach. And I'm just, it's its really simple, really simple dish, guys. Can't say that enough. Um, but again, have a fantastic evening and thank you for joining me again here at The Earth and the Chef. I look forward to uploading this for you. Um, and. Again, guys, I can't thank you enough for the feedback and, and the support so far. So, if there's nothing else, I must leave you and love you. Um, so, thank you again for joining me and have a fantastic evening.